Instagram slash Fanfana Studios and told this morning you how to integrate the notification kit into your project. Now, when you first get this, um, you'll probably have this as a blank project, or if you got it from the marketplace, it will be at the project normally. But if you have it in this form and you only have a project to work on, uh, work with, then follow these tabs. So when you first start, you're going to see an empty project with just the notification kit and this. That's all you're going to have because that's all that's in there. Now, what you first want to do is right click this and hit migrate. And just press OK. And go to the folder where you want to integrate it with. For me, the project is called Notive Int, which is notification integration. And the subfolder is content. Don't use any of those subfolders because that's not going to work. Just press OK. I'm not going to do that because I already did that. So then, when you have done that, you're going to have this project with a blank. Or if you already have a project with, work, with your world and everything in it with this folder added. Now, what you want to do next is you want to open a map. So then you open this. And if you don't have a character and a control yet, you can use the example character and controller and just use those. Or if you already have the character, then follow the steps that I'm going to do. You don't create this because you already have it. I'm going to make a tutorial character. And a tutorial controller. Now what you want to do is open a tutorial controller, add a component, not if, add components, not normal, the hat one, and your character, you want to add the notification component, not the hat one. So press compile, save on both of them. Now if you want to do this the easy way, you can actually just go to notification kit, examples, and open the example character. Copy all of this. You don't need that, so you can leave that behind. Then here you want to call local begin play. Now this is not going to work because we just changed the controller. So let's lead to example control and cast to tutorial controller. Connect the delay with the cast field and the them back into there. Delete this and get notification. That's a component. And connect it up. That's all you're going to have to do, and it's already set up. Now, in the demonstration map, or in your game mode, um, if you don't have this tab, go to Window, World Settings, and just change the character to Tutorial Character, and to Tutorial Controller. Now, when you hit play, nothing's going to happen because we haven't set anything up. So, this is a setup. Then I'll press K. Let's notify the player. So the message type is what color of your message. Info success warning error. Let's set it to success. First message. Then play sound is if you want to play sound or not. This is true. And duration is how long it will stay on your screen. Now notification type will be text. And only this means of clicks is only applicable if you have a hidden box. And we'll get to that in a second. There was K. Now you press K. It's going to fire this. Now you don't hear a sound, and that's because my um, recording is not recording a sound, so don't pay attention to that. I'll press J or whatever you want to do. Copy paste this. And let's set this to info and do second message. No sound this time, and let's do indent. Now, when you see that, it's going to come here. And you're going to see it has, it won't go further than that. Like if you stop, it's not going to remove the first one. But if I add one, it's going to. And that is because you have max entries. And to change this, go to your begin play. And on setup, double click this. And here you see max entries. So for me, that's now 10 and notification time. 
It's basically if it comes down from the right to the bottom and you can only set this at start play. You can try setting it at run play but it's not recommended so just keep it only one way. That's going to be the best solution. Now let's do a um, dismiss if clicked only. So let's connect this to H. Do a warning. Click me. And do only dismiss if clicked. And then there will override duration so that doesn't matter anymore. Press H, it's going to say click me. But you can't click it because you have no mouse. So in your tutorial character or in your controller, go to class defaults and do show mouse cursor to true. And then in your tutorial character set input mode game and UI. And connect it up to not notify UMG. Now this isn't this isn't mandatory, you don't have to do this in order to let it work. That's just for example purposes. In order to play, you have your mouse in your keyboard, so let's press H a couple times. So when you press one, it's going to dismiss that. And that is the notification page for you and how to integrate and use it. Um, if you do have any more questions, you can just ask them in the comments below on our Twitter, Facebook, anywhere you can really find us, and we will reply. Hope it all helped, and see you later. Bye.